Hi everyone, my name is Juno, I have health science background, and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video is how the INFJ MB type assigned type is in essence a combination of the four main personality types. So let's look at the judger aspect of the INFJ. So they are very much like the sense of judges. That's why most people confuse the ISFJ with the INFJ because when you look at their function side, they're very much the same. So they have extrovert feeling at their second function, they have introvert thinking at their third function, and obviously they are judges. So you'll see that the INFJ is reliable, reachable, structured, uh, they don't like change at the last minute. And although the INFJ is an intuitive, it still has quite a bit of the, the sense of judger, sort of even aesthetic. So even to how they dress, they, they tend to dress conservatively. They won't have you no know, flashy type of uh, uh, you know outfit. And even in terms of in in their romantic relationships, they like things that you know in terms of chivalry. Yeah. When you look at let's say the sensor perceivers who are the creative type, so these are people who like things that are new, different. Um, they're the type of people who are risk takers. So you'll see the INFJ has this open mindedness, and they are obviously about what is new, what is uh, uh, like unconventional, because obviously having uh, slow theta brain waves, they are very much about the subconscious mind and what is you know unusual, uh, be able to put things in a particular sort of like uh, combination that has not been seen before. That's why in history, you'll see obviously that you know, people who were well-known INFJs like Jesus Christ, Krishna, Buddha, they brought forth, you know, true religions. That's, That's why the INFJ, although they are intuitives, they will still understand mm -hmm. sensor perceivers because they like what is different, what they like what is new, and they'll feel that, okay, I can understand this person on a creative level. So that, again, will be of something that's unusual when it comes to the INFJ personality type. When it comes to the, the thinking aspect, because the INFJ has introverted think as its third function, so it is the most logical of the intuitive feelers. So the INFJ has also a scientific mind. So they will appreciate the uh, what the intuitive thinkers bring forth. So these are people who will be interested in, in you know, let's say exploring, you know, that anatomy, physiology, science, math, and also how these subjects actually is linked to spirituality. So in other words, the INFJ, because it has a well-developed uh, left brain, is in a sense also a, a part of the intuitive thinker. So they will actually really enjoy discussing these aspects of, of life with intuitive thinkers. And the intuitive thinkers will, will feel that the INFJ does understand their point of view. And they will actually respect each other on that level. Now, the other aspect, obviously, the INFJ is an intuitive feeler. So they actually, you know, very much come from the heart. They are very much right brain dominant. So the INFJ will easily be able to relate to intuitive feelers because they like, you know, physical affection. They like uh, hugs. Um, they like also, you know, they're very romantic. Um, so all of this, they will appreciate in the intuitive feelers. So I, therefore, the INFJ very much appreciate the company of intuitive feelers because ultimately the INFJ is uh, an, a right brain dominant. Although they do appreciate the other main personality types, but their home is very much with intuitive feelers. So in other words, this is kind of really uh, unusual when you think about it because the other personality types don't have this kind of a combination. So a, a lot of people, when they say that they are an INFJ, they have to maybe think about, okay, do I relate to the sense of judgers? Do I easily relate to sense of perceivers? Do I feel aligned also or, or understand the, the, you know, the, the, the fascination that intuitive thinkers have for math and science and the, the abstract thoughts? And also, do I feel really close to uh, also uh, intuitive feelers? So in other words, it is in a sense a strange type of like brain because of the fact that it encompasses uh, the, the characteristics of these three other main personality types into one. And I think that ultimately it's almost like the INFJ is 
uh, brain is the ultimate goal in terms of being able to uh, sort of assimilate and actually combine all the strengths of the other personality types into one. So, so let me know if you agree with uh, the content of this video by commenting below. If you like this video, if you learned something, please click on the like button. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to be notified of the videos. And we will talk soon.